today we've just had a call from the postmaster at New Milford's post office and he had an extremely interesting arrival. If you'll note, boxes of bees mailed two days ago from Georgia came through the postal service to our post office down here in New Milford. Um, everybody cleared immediately. When we got there, there were people still running out of the building, um, screaming that there were like bees all over the place, but there weren't. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install these bees into hives up here on Ridge Road, which will help us with the uh, pollination of all the crops that we're growing up here. Um, and um, hopefully, if we're lucky, no one's going to get hurt. We do have one person who's allergic to bees with us today, but we have a EpiPen with the bore of a candy cane that's ready to go right into his thigh if anything were to happen. So um, we're going to uh, head over. Way that the, these are called frames and the way that they work is they have a small hexagonal base in them and the bees use their wax and they go off of these and they make perfect hexagons which uh, they sleep in but they also fill with honey so that's just one way how a frame can help them they do have frames that don't have this middle section but it's very hard it's it makes it easier for them to fill these versus to fill the ones that don't have a center so each box of bees contains about 3,000 bees. Uh, at the end of the year, they'll grow to be about 15,000 bees. So in total, we'll have about 45,000. Each box comes with a single queen, except she's mailed differently because she is a pheromone. And if you try and just throw the queen into the box, they'll kill her because they're not used to her scent. Whereas you have to place it in and she's placed with a few worker bees and they have to eat their way out of this candy cork so that way her scent is given off to the rest of the hive and the hive has time to accept her. Back here again at Bee Central. Basically ready to load another box of bees into an existing hive. Now the problem that we have here is that there seem to be bees in this hive and there really shouldn't be. So we're going to find out what's going on. This could be very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. 